Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I want to give you a quick overview of Breakdance. Breakdance is a powerful and easy to use visual website builder for WordPress. Breakdance has many features which are designed to save you lots of time and make it easier for you to build better websites. In this video, I'll walk you through some of the key features of Breakdance. First, I want to show the WooCommerce functionality in Breakdance. Breakdance is fantastic for WooCommerce. Everything looks great out of the box and it's very easy to customize. So right now you're looking at the default design for a WooCommerce store in Breakdance. And as you can see, it's already beautiful by default. Here is the default product page. Here is our default cart. It looks good. It's two columns. It has a modern design designed to convert. Here is the default checkout page. I didn't have to set any of this up. This is how Breakdance makes WooCommerce look out of the box. It's also very easy to customize. Let's go into Breakdance and build a custom shop page. So here I am in Breakdance. And to build a custom shop page, I'm first going to add a columns element to my page. I want two columns. I want a left column with a sidebar and a right column with a product grid. So I will go to add and drag the shop filters element into my left column. Voila. We got shop filters we can customize if we want, but I'll leave as is. And let's go to the right column and add in a shop page element. And voila, now we have a nice product grid. Let's go to products list, layout, and choose to show three per row. And it looks great. Let's go into breakdance and customize a product page. Here we are building a completely custom layout for a WooCommerce product. We have 26 WooCommerce elements, so the possibilities are limitless. Let's say I want to customize this product rating. I could make it stack vertically, for example. Maybe I want some space after the stars. I could just add some space after the stars. The best part of Breakdance WooCommerce functionality is the global styler. To get there, we'll go to the dot 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 menu and go to global settings. And we can now click browse to browse around our website while editing the global settings. Here we are in browse mode. Let's go over to the shop page and let's start customizing. So let's set our colors. Let's set our brand color to black. And now everything that uses that brand color is going to be black. We don't have to manually customize every single element. We can do it all from one place. We can then customize the elements only if we wish. Let's adjust our typography. I'll go to typography. Let's set the heading font to Antic Slab. And let's set the body font to Source Sans Pro. It looks great. And as you can see, the changes are taking effect everywhere. Let's go ahead and customize the text size. So let's change our base size to 20 pixels. Everything's a little bit bigger now. We can also change how it scales with the ratio control. I like 1.4. I think that looks pretty good. If we want to customize our forms, we can do that as well. Let's go to forms. I can go to fields, borders, and we can give all of our fields a two pixel border. Maybe we want a black border. Maybe we want a gray border. And that's not only going to affect WooCommerce, that's also going to affect other forms on our website. It's very easy to get your whole site on brand quickly using Breakdance. Next up, I want to give you a quick tour of the Breakdance UI. We made the UI very intuitive and easy to use. We also made it very efficient and powerful so you can get your work done quickly. To add elements to your page, just click Add on the top left. The Add panel, like many panels in Breakdance, is fully searchable, so I'm just going to type HE to find a heading element, and then I will drag that onto the page. To adjust spacing, I can mouse over the top or bottom of any element and just click and drag to set my spacing. To edit the headings text, I can either do it in the left in the content tab, or I can just double click and type. I'll type in powerful and easy to use. Let's make this an H2. And then to edit the design options, I would go over to the design tab. All elements have well-organized options with content, design, and settings tabs as applicable. To get a responsive preview, we can click the device icon and choose our device. All elements in Breakdance are responsive by default, and they will look good at any screen size with no need to customize. Of course, customization options for the responsive styles are available if you wish. For any property that supports responsive styles, just go to the property, mouse over, click the device icon, and then choose the device you wish to edit the property for. If you make a change you want to undo, just click the undo icon in the top right. 
to redo, click the redo icon. You can see everything on your page by opening up the structure panel. It'll show you the active element and you can click around. You can reorder elements on your page by simply clicking and dragging them in the structure panel. In the dot 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 menu, you'll find your global settings, your selectors and classes, your revision history, and your preferences where you can set up custom breakpoints and upload custom fonts. When you're done editing, click save and then click the X to go back to the front end or the WordPress dashboard. Next up, I want to show Breakdance's header builder and mega menu builder. Here you're looking at a header created with header builder. It is sticky on scroll. And this effect is very easy to create. On the header builder, you just go to sticky, enable it, and under style, I set up a custom height. There we go. Sticky on scroll animates nicely. We also have a mega menu here. This mega menu was created with Breakdance's menu builder. It was entirely done with drag and drop. There is no coding at all to get this wonderful mega menu. You can create custom drop downs where you put anything you want in them. Here I've placed a form element in my login drop down. I also have a drop down here where I've configured two columns of links. Here we have our first column. You just add link for the links you want to add. Each link can have text, an optional description, an optional icon or image. Here I have another column on the right where I've only specified a column title and link text no icons or descriptions. This will allow you to create virtually any type of menu. It is beautiful on responsive by default. Let's take a look and looks great. Here is our responsive mini cart and here is our responsive menu with the drop downs nicely collapsing into a hierarchy. To copy and paste elements on your page, you can right click and copy or you can just hit command C on your keyboard. Let's copy and let's paste with command B. We've now pasted. Let's fill in our new content, unlimited site license, and let's choose a different icon for this one in the icon chooser. Beautiful. Let's fill out that text. Breakdance also supports copying and pasting across pages. So if you want to reuse this section on another page of your website, you could right click and copy and then paste it onto another page. You could also save it as a global block and then changes you made to the global block would take effect everywhere the block is used. Maybe there's a section on another page of my website that I want to use on this page. Rather than open up the other page in Breakdance and then copy and then paste though, I can just go to add library and go to the this website library. And maybe there's a section on the pop-up builder page that I want. So I'll just go to the pop-up builder page and let's find the section that I want. I think I like this section. Let's just click add to page. And that way I can reuse sections from other pages of my website very easily. Breakdance has some great features to build powerful, dynamic websites easily. Here I'm looking at a listing. This is a custom post type. I've added the custom fields to it using advanced custom fields. Breakdance integrates with advanced custom fields, toolset, metabox, and more, and also makes it very easy to display native WordPress dynamic data in your posts. On this site, I have a number of listings. Breakdance has a loop builder that will allow me to loop through them. And Breakdance supports conditions for dynamic data for showing and hiding elements based on anything. Here I am inside of Breakdance. I'm editing my listing template. This will apply to all my listings. And I've already set up my price here. I have a condition on my price to only show it if price is not empty. I'll show call for price if the price field is empty. I've set up my address dynamically. I've set up my bedrooms, bathrooms, and square feet dynamically. Just to show you how it works, I'll set up my image and gallery dynamically. So let's add in an image. Let's click the database icon. And this opens up Breakdance's beautiful dynamic data chooser. It'll show you all the fields that you could possibly use for your image. I'm just going to choose featured image. And there we go. It pulls in the image dynamically. Let's add in a gallery element and let's link this to our advanced custom fields gallery field. So we'll just click the database icon and choose the gallery field. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and set this Google map element to use the address from advanced custom fields. So I'll just go to the Google map and under address, let's set that dynamically and let's go to advanced custom fields address. And there we go. Google map showing the correct address. It's easy to build dynamic websites in Breakdance. Creating loops using the post loop builder is also possible. Let's take a look at this slider loop I've created. I'm simply designing a custom template for each item in the loop and choosing to display them as a slider. 
Beautiful. Let's see how it's done in Breakdance. So here I am inside Breakdance. I will add the post loop builder element to my page. And for repeated block, I'm going to choose the listing loop part template I designed earlier. This template has my image. It also has my text and my bedrooms, bathrooms, and square feet icon list. Okay, let's set up the query to pull listings. So I'll go to query, choose custom, edit the query, and instead of posts, I'm going to choose listings. I want nine listings. Let's apply the query. And there we go. We now have our nine listings. I want to display these in a grid instead of a list though. So let's go to the design options, go to list and choose layout grid. Under items per row, I'm going to choose three. And there we go. We now have a beautiful listing grid. I could further customize the design of each post by going to post and let's make it look nice. So I'll give them a white background and 20 pixels of padding and let's give them a nice shadow. Beautiful. It's easy to do loops and custom loops in Breakdance. Breakdance has a robust global settings feature that will save you a ton of time when building your website and make it easy to get your styles consistent. In the colors, you can go to palette and you can configure your color palette. You'll see on breakdance.com, this is every color we are using. And if you wanna use these colors in your elements, you'll just go to the element and let's find a color, color control. You can go to style and under color, you'll have all the colors in your palette available for use in the color picker. We also have button styles that can be set globally for primary buttons and secondary buttons. We also have typography presets. You go to typography presets and you can create a number of different typography styles. To use those typography styles in your elements, just go to the typography settings for any element and choose preset. And then you can choose any preset you've created. And of course, changes you make to the preset will take effect everywhere the preset is used automatically. Next up, I wanna show the pop-ups functionality of Breakdance. Create a pop-up in Breakdance, just go to Breakdance pop-ups, and then you can add a pop-up. Let's take a look at a demo of a pop-up. Here I have a request a tour button. Clicking this will trigger our pop-up. Inside the pop-up, we have a form created with Breakdance's form builder element. You can get very fancy with forms too. I'm pre-filling this form with dynamic data about the listing the user is viewing. Let's go back to the pop-ups and see the options we have for pop-ups. So I've created a pop-up here called my pop-up. Let me go to the settings. First, we can choose where the pop-up displays. I've chosen to display it everywhere on the site, but you can narrow it down. We can also add conditions to only display the pop-up to logged out users only on certain pages. Pop-ups support a number of different triggers. This one, we're gonna trigger on page scroll when the user scrolls 20% down the page. We can also trigger on page load, exit, uh, mouse move to exit, and uh, more things. We can control how often the pop-up shows. You have a lot of flexibility with pop-ups. Let's go ahead and edit this pop-up in Breakdance so you can see how it works. Here is the pop-up and you just design your pop-up in Breakdance like you design anything else. Now I wanna talk about forms. In this pop-up, we have a form builder element. We've just created a simple email subscribe form. So the form has an email field and actions run when the form is submitted. We choose to send ourselves an email and store the submission, but we could also subscribe the user to our mailing list. We have integrations for active campaign, convert kit, drip, discord, slack, get response, mailchimp, mailer light. We can store the submission so we can view it in the WordPress admin panel. We can even send the data to a webhook to integrate with Zapier, integrate with a bunch of other third party services. The form builder in Breakdance is quite powerful. You have a number of different field types. Here I've chosen the email field, but you can create text, text area, URL, radios, check boxes, etc. You can even create form fields conditionally. So for example, you could show a text area if a checkbox is checked or a radio has a certain value. It's all possible in Breakdance. If you'd like to try Breakdance, go to our website, breakdance.com, click try, and you can try a live demo hosted by us for free. Just click the button. It'll set up a WordPress install just for you. We also have a lot of tutorials to help you get started with Breakdance and make the most of the features. A lot of the things I covered quickly in this video are covered in much more depth on our YouTube channel. For example, here is our WooCommerce and Breakdance, the basics playlist. Here is our headers and menus playlist, and we have much more, so just check us out on YouTube. We are running a limited time special offer right now. 
$149 per year for unlimited sites, including sites you build for clients. This includes all features, design library access, access to our support team. We're planning on raising the price relatively soon, probably going to charge $349 a year for unlimited sites. But for early adopters, you can get it for $149 a year and lock in that price indefinitely. Your purchase is backed by a 60-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% happy, just let us know and we'll give you a full refund, no questions asked. Our support team is also happy to help you with any questions you may have about Breakdance. This is Lewis from Breakdance, and thank you very much for watching.